here we are under the Christmas tree for Christmas Eve, what is for some of you over in Europe, actually your Christmas celebration with family and friends, and I hope you're having a nice one. Uh, we are here to celebrate today our good dinosaur friends and all our friends, from ponies on the top of the tree to everything that we've talked about this year, and lastly our advent calendar. Give it up for day 24. I can, you know, assuredly tell you this is an almond. I'm not going to worry about it, but there you go. So there's the last point. We got 11 of these. So almost half. I would consider that a, a solid victory. Some of the rums threw me for a loop. Um, if you're wondering, these don't actually taste... I mean, they're, they're, they're fine. They're just a pastry. If you like pastries and you like marzipan, especially, these are really good. But, uh, yeah, it's Stalin Pieces from uh, Schlünde. And, uh, yeah, from Germany. And you can get advent calendars such as this and the one I got last year at the um, at your local like world market, if you have one of those type of places. We're going to look briefly at this. I don't know what I'll do tomorrow if I do a video, but here's uh, Christmas or Santa Claus's presents. And here's my riddle. I spy a steeple, a pine tree, a dove, a man with a pipe, and three angels of love. I think, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was a maniac back in the day. I have no clue. A steeple, a pine, I mean, a pine tree is that. I, I don't know if that's what I'm actually asking about or not. Three angels of love. There's the steeple. No, that's not. It's people on a horse. Huh. Santa. There's a steeple. We found it. It's, it's a postcard. A chicken. Yeah. So these are these are fun. This is wow. I like there's a glare on my phone. Even it looks like from the glare of the lights on the tree. Even. A little carriage there. My goal for my Christmas tree is to replace a lot of these with these. And I don't mean dinosaurs specifically, just, just ornaments, just things that kind of tell more of a story than um, than plastic baubles. Isn't that right, Gingerbread Foxy? Anyway, from all of us to all of you, we wish you a happy Christmas, a happy Christmas Eve, and we'll see you over in Madvent. Hello and welcome back to Madvent. One more time. Faced with these stars staring down for one sec, I'm not alone. With these tracks laid out, it's the only way this goes. On a metal snake in which we are doomed to ride. When the tracks run out, there'll be nowhere left to hide. I can't do this alone. I like how she's just back there. I don't think the developers were able to beat Outpost Zero either. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. But uh, yeah, I wanted to watch the Dreadful Gift one more time. Uh, I'm not going to do the Madvent uh, uh, summary today. We'll do that tomorrow for Christmas. My Christmas. I, I keep saying this. I know a lot of you are already celebrating Christmas, and that's fantastic, and I'm glad. There's like a, a ship over here, too, so I guess we're crossing the ocean to the North Pole. I guess is what this is, but we'll find out in today's Madvent, because today's Madvent is, uh... 
frozen North Pole station. One last stop, savor. Thank you, Vladimir and Akashir. And following this, there will be a special finale of Cthulhu Saves Christmas. So we can save Christmas before Christmas. And however long that takes, I'm going to finish it. It'll be a separate video, like usual. Here we go. Also, and, uh, Vladimir told me, and I don't know, Platform 2. Queer relationship confirmed here, by the way. That's Which is fantastic, I think. What a fun trip this has been. I'm sad it's almost over. What are they waiting for? Christmas? So yeah, there's the ship over there. They can go down to the water. Can I walk in the water? I can. Can I go to the ship? No. I can go in here. I gotta explore before I talk to all the characters, right? Here we go. Here's the thing. Can you feel the rumbling? Wake up before it's too late. Have we been dreaming this whole time? Like, I know this is all about collecting dreams, but is this all a dream? Is that what this is? Is that the point of this? Is this all supposed to be your dreams? Like, you dream about these, about Bitey and her friends. These characters, these people. Madvent is over. Feels like it just started. And you played video games through all of it. You still playing Undertale? You're still play, pretty much playing Undertale or whatever that is. Maybe if I play the arc of the Haunted Arcade demo disc, I'll find out. Can't go back. I can fall off the tracks, though. That's dumb. Sorry, I have to extend this playtime a little bit, right? There were a lot of great games this year. I'm glad I tagged along for the ride. There were a lot of great games in parentheses, but like I said, we'll get to that tomorrow. Parentheses. This is it. Last stop. Thank you for coming along. It means a lot to have everyone here with me. And with that, uh, we're gonna leave it off. Like I said before, have a wonderful Christmas. Hope that you have fun with your family, waking up, opening some presents, or whatever it is you do for your Christmas tradition. I, I did a video last night of uh, vis uh, checking out the Christmas lights in my in the neighborhoods around me, and I, check that out if you want to see some good Christmas lights. If you don't get to do that yourself, and uh, yeah, Cthulhu saves Christmas. Madvent's been a lot of bla a blast this year. I want to say a big thank you to Vladimir Lore and all of the Haunted PS1 team again. I, I complain a little bit. I, I want to give a special shout out to the Outpost Zero Dev for reaching out to me. I don't. Sorry, I keep forgetting your name, but I'm sorry I couldn't finish your game, but uh, I will talk more about these things tomorrow, and uh, hope you all have a good day, and take care, everyone. See you soon. Happy Christmas.